The BBC's Jeremy Bowen has spent the day in nearby Irpin and there are distressing details and images in his report. Russian shelling might break Ukraine's will to fight, but not yet. They had to keep moving. Until the last minute, these families had hung on. Leaving your home, even in a war, is a giant step. They're heading towards the capital, still almost untouched, but only about 10 miles away. She was as dignified as a woman striding to the park. In fact, like all of Ukraine and Russia, they are struggling into a dark future. Ukrainian troops were moving back into Irpin, and this is why its people left. <laughs> Journalists tried to help the casualties. A family, mother, father, and two children were killed by another shell. This was inside the town, Russia's target as it tries to revive its offensive. The civilians are getting out over what's left of a bridge that was blown to slow down the Russians if they take her pin. Civilians are supposed to be protected by the laws of war. Russian shells were very close. Stopping was not an option. I'm OK, she said. Keep going. A disabled man couldn't make it up the steep riverbank on his own. Uh, there's a fair amount of incoming fire coming into this now. Artillery fire. There are loads of civilians around. Families coming out. There's a lady there with her dog following on. This is the edge of the town that the Russians have got to. Civilians were in the firing line, but the Russians might have been trying to knock out nearby active Ukrainian artillery. <laughs> Casualties and evacuees were taken to an assembly point in a suburb about a mile away. They were still in range of Russian guns, but for now, relatively safe. Vladimir, 85, a 30-year veteran of the Soviet army, got his family out. I served for many years, he said. Right now, I tear those fascists into pieces. They're killing people for no reason. That's what's really painful. <laughs> On the way out, families grab their most precious things. Puppies, pets, some comfort. Tell me what it was like crossing the bridge and getting out. Oh, of the it was it was it was Very a miserable nervous. feeling. Uh, uh, we are nervous. It, uh, I was terrified. Uh, terrified. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was uh, the horrible, the horrible way. <laughs> they moved on into the capital. This was a terrible day, but the Russian military is operating on half power. If it can build up full momentum. There will be many days worse than this. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Kyiv.